Join us! The Lions Club always shows us a good time, and now they're giving us a present for their 100th birthday. Come on over. I think I know everybody, but I'm, my name is Casey. I'm the president of the Duncanville New Lions Club. We're here today for, to mark a special occasion. Uh, for those of you all that are not aware, uh, Lions International, the world's largest service organization of over 1.4 million members, was founded in Chicago 100 years ago today. Actually, this is the this is program. Uh, Melvin Jones was a Chicago businessman. He uh, founded the organization on June 7, 1917. Uh, when he, would, he asked in regards to his colleagues, this is a quote from him, what if these men who are successful because of their drive, intelligence, and ambition would have put their talents to work, and put, work together improving their communities? With the, with the motto we serve, Lions Clubs continue to give back to the communities by supporting site conservation, hearing and speech conservation, diabetes awareness, literacy, youth involvement, scholarships, environment, environmental issues, and many other programs. Today we are presenting the legacy gift honoring the milestone of Lions across the globe. Lions International has encouraged all their local clubs to do something special to commemorate this special occasion in Lions uh, International hi uh, history. Uh, we're in building a custom designed wood bench as a gift to the friends of the Duncanville Library and the community as well. Uh, Kyle Ballard of Ballard Custom Builds, if you'll come on up, uh, he actually presented um, our board and our members with this concept uh, actually in January. And uh, you guys are going to see here in a minute, he really did an amazing job and uh, just commemorating this special occasion, but also just creating a real conversation, conversation piece. So Kyle, if you go up and say a few words. Well, thank you, Casey. Uh, I dare not say too much because I know the tail twister will get after you, right? <laughs> uh, I was honored when, when Casey approached me about uh, creating a unique gift uh, for the Duncanville uh, Library on behalf of the Lions Club. and. We put our heads together and we thought about what would make kind of a unique uh, uh, presentation and I think what you'll, you'll find is something that is certainly uh, something you don't find at every uh, park bench corner. So uh, I've been honored. I appreciate you uh, having me be involved with this and I just hope the community gets many years of enjoyment out of it and uh, it represents what Lions Club stands for. Y'all put your heads together? <laughs> <laughs> But we do hope it creates the lasting um, legacy of our service contributions to date. And we hope it really recognizes the local Lions who have given so much to Duncanville over the years. And I'm going to read a few names. These are what I kind of would classify as maybe some of the Duncanville Lions Hall of Famers, I guess. But uh, we have J.C. Pelt. He was the president of the Duncanville Host Club back in 1945. Van Smith, might recognize that name. R.B. Brandenburg, Gus Alexander, past district, district governor Chuck Knight, Bob O'Burke, Maxie Bell, First president of the Duncanville New Lions Club in 1971. Earl Mizell, past district governor Hugh Childress. Paul McBurnett, Hoot Gibson, Mike Corvell, past, past district governor Wes Jesperson. G.W. Gorman, Don Cutler. Jay Davis, B.A. Carroll, Leo Varian, Lois Cathy, right here. First female president of the Duncanville New Lions Club. Bob Lee, Tommy Wolverton, David Malone, Bill Dover, Terry Webb. Paul Studebaker, Leon Miller, Don McBurnett, where's Don? There's Don. Steve Martin, Joe Kyle, Mr. Mike Kreisberg, where are you at? Uh, I can't, I can't, I can't, sorry, it's ingrained. Norma Flatt, John Thompson, and the list could go on and on and on. These folks have poured uh, into their poured their lives into Duncanville. Um, we've been involved since 45, so we're looking at 70 plus years that Duncanville's had a presence of Lions here. And really, we just hope this is a, a way just to recognize your efforts. We hope when people come by it, obviously they see it. Uh, it does kind of, you know, we hope it raises awareness, but really we hope it encourages them to find out what All Lions is about, find out how to get involved. Um, and so, you know, really, uh, I guess the last thing, I'm going to leave you all with this quote. Again, this is Melvin Jones, the founder of Lions Club. He had a personal code that really still rings, uh, rings true for all of us today. He clearly stated, you can't get very far until you start doing something for somebody else. So I'd like to invite Ms. Hannah and Stephanie to come up and receive the uh, gift from the Lions Club. Anniversary to the Lions Club International. Wow. Right. It's beautiful. Sweet. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Yeah, we have to okay. Yes, thank you guys so much. This bench is gorgeous. Probably the nicest piece of furniture in here. Yes, absolutely. <laughs>
Ever? You know, I find this to be a momentous occasion. We're, we're happy to be here today, and you know, on behalf of the city, the library department, thank you so much. This will, this will be a, a featured uh, item in, in the library, and we're so appreciative that you've done this for us, for the library for the city. How does it feel? Feels good. <laughs> you know, you just say it. it's it's actually it's a bench, but it's very comfortable. <laughs> Whereas the Duncanville Noon Lions Club is a member of Lions Clubs International, the world's largest service club organization with 1.4 members in 46,000 clubs in more than 200 countries in in uh, geographical areas. And whereas the Lions Club International was founded on June the 7th, 1917 in Chicago, Illinois, and is celebrating 100 years of humanitarian service. And whereas the Duncanville Noon Lions Club, established in June of 1971, is comprised of volunteers who dedicate their time to the betterment of our community and aiding those in need. And whereas the Duncanville Noon Lion Club is presenting a legacy gift to the community as part of the Lions Club International Centennial Celebration. Now, therefore, I, David L. Green, Mayor of the City of Duncanville, Texas, in recognition of this important legacy gift sponsored by the Duncanville Noon Lions Club, do hereby proclaim June 7, 2017, is Lions Club International Centennial Celebration Day. Not so close. All right, which one are we going to start with? Mom should go first. One, two, three. All right, Joanne, you want to go next? Yeah, I know, seriously. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> 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 10 minutes, <laughs> 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 